The question is, can you change the power equation? And I think there are realistic possibilities for changing that equation. The most important thing is, number one, using the, inter the instrument of international law to isolate Israel in public opinion. And number two, you need massive Palestinian civil disobedience with, unfortunately, the force and repression that Israel unleashes to galvanize international opinion. And that was exactly the strategy of the civil rights movement. The, the, uh, the civil rights movement originally, Martin Luther King, his original strategy was, let's try to melt the hearts of the Southern racists. That was a classic Gandhian strategy, you know, melting the heart of your opponent. But then he realized, you're never going to melt the hearts of these people. So what are we going to do? We're going to look for the most repressive, the most violent Southern sheriffs, people like Joe Clark in Selma, Alabama, Eugene Bull Connor in Birmingham. We're going to confront them, knowing full well that if we confront them, they're going to unleash their dogs, unleash the fire hoses, unleash the horsemen, and then you will create an indignant national community which will impose its will on the South. And that strategy, to me, is workable among the Palestinians. If they don't use that strategy, I think it's hopeless. Yes, sir.